to round it out here. The Browns just look like a shit show every week, and it's not getting any better, both just the body language on the field and then obviously the result at the end of the game. What is kind of the vibes coming out of Cleveland, and are we going to see any big names moved from their team? Are they going to be selling anybody, especially because of the future cap hits with how big Deshaun Watson's contract is? Well... They are struggling, and it's it, like it just feels like when you watch them, everything's a battle. Like nothing yeah. really comes easy. And if that continues, then I would think that they they would look to move parts. Like they are always an ultra aggressive team, and they're always looking to make moves. And so, I think of the name of Mari Cooper. If you can't get it together and you can't get it straightened out, why would you not? trade Amari Cooper to some contender. Like, people talking about Dallas going after Devontae Adams. Like, you know, Amari Cooper would make some sense there, too, as well, when Dallas isn't going after a guy like Devontae Adams. And Mm. Dallas can't afford him. They can't afford Derrick Henry. I don't know if they could afford Amari Cooper, but Amari Cooper would be a guy that I would be watching if they keep losing. And and I think Cleveland's always looking to make moves. Always. You bring it up, um, uh, the Cowboys not being able to afford Derrick Henry after what Derrick Henry has done. is a <laughs> nice little subtle shot from you. You know, I, I do appreciate when Shefty decides to It's not to a do shot. Me. No, no, no. I'm using the reminder. word that they used. Just that. a reminder. They said, they said that they can't afford him. That was I didn't say it. That's, I'm using the exact words yeah, that they yeah. used. Yeah, they big win in Pittsburgh him. last night or this morning, depending upon what time zone you're in. And just a reminder, what Derrick Henry's doing could be doing for you guys. You know, could be doing for you guys. I appreciate that. Uh, Mari Cooper on the move. Maybe he comes to the Colts. You know? Oh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Why, you know, Devontae Adams maybe comes they, to the Colts. They play, yeah. They play DB? <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> we're we'll going that out, too. We got a lot of weeks. Uh, this is from uh, Matt Bam Bang. ASAP. Carry on. Carry on. No. <laughs> Hashtag I don't want to react, but what? F the new stadium funding. Cleveland has to chip in some tax money to send Osama bin Watson <laughs> on a one way ticket Whoa. to Pyongyang. Jeez. Holy Whoa. shit. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. All right, so that's how people in Cleveland maybe feel about the whole quarterback situation. Uh, oh, boy. I, I think it is a little bit of an overreaction to start pinning those things together, but, boy, it, 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 they're about done with it. Yeah, mm-hmm. they are more. Yeah, Kevin Stefanski Ooh. obviously said he, he's our starter or whatever as we move forward. Calls for Jameis Winston are growing louder. Oh, yeah. Ryan Fitzmagic even said, what are we doing here? we got electricity on the sideline, brother. Okay. <laughs> we got a guy that's showing up at Cleveland events for the Cleveland Browns. And Jameis Winston, he has been representing we, he said, going to community. I think he cut the ribbon at some, like, house that was uh, for Cleveland youth. He, <laughs> legitimately. James, that's unreal. James, this dude is like, uh, he's like becoming the face of the a party. Clevelander. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's just sitting there waiting. And it's like, will they ever make that decision or move? And will it matter with how this Cleveland Browns team is? TBD. AJ, you're in Ohio. Cincinnati fans obviously going, well, we're supposed to have a good team. And then Cleveland fans are going, we made the worst trade in the history of football. Yep. Is that what happened in this whole thing? Yeah, I, I, um, I'm around a lot of Browns fans. I grew up around a lot of Browns fans. And, uh, yeah, I could see a lot of them making that tweet that we just read, actually. <laughs> Wordsmith there, Matt Bam Bang, uh, the way he yeah. pieced that whole thing together. Send him to Pyongyang. Where's that in the globe? That's North Korea. Yeah, yeah. North Korea capital. Yeah. Not the best place to hang so out. So we got Osama. And Kim Jong. Yeah, a lot. It's a lot, D. But <laughs> yeah, I mean that's there's levels to that one. That's how pissed they are. They don't like it. They don't like it I one bit. Too. And yeah. it's tough to watch. They're then, sad. then the way that one play was being framed. Yeah. Like Stefanski wants to go for it on fourth down, down thirty. Yeah. That was- Deshaun didn't want to go for it. He <laughs> walks off the field and look how mad Stefanski is. Well, you don't want to go. Okay, we're gonna. I guess there was already 11 people in the huddle. He didn't want to be the 12th. That is one of the jobs of the quarterback, mm-hmm. which is what quarterbacks do. They stay out of the huddle until everybody's in it. Then they join late because you can have too many men in a huddle. That is an actual penalty. Allegedly, that's what Deshaun Watson wanted. But, boy, Browns fans are like, did I just – we just – I thought so. This comes one week after he says, I'm not taking more hits. Yeah. I don't want to run the ball more. I'm not doing any of that. It's like <clears throat> this whole $230 million guaranteed experiment is seemingly – uh, over for most Cleveland Browns fans. Well, and that's why it really sucks. Like, absolutely, if if you're on a football team and you guys can attest to this, when, when you suck, of course it blows for the players. But just the way it looks. Like, you can go all the way back 
to Dallas where, you know, Deshaun's going to help up. I forget which off- offensive lineman it was, but then the off- offensive lineman's basically telling him, like, no, nah, I don't need help getting up. And then, like, him walking out of the huddle like that. I think last week there was a scene, like, the body language and how, how frustrating it is to watch them must be excruciating for Browns fans. Like, that would blow to be a, f- b- to be a Browns fan. Well, and it has blown for a long time being a Browns fan. Yeah. 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 So it's a, whole new, it's a whole new angle. So much hope. Wow, we well, they had a couple years of hope. That's the problem. They had like what three, four, five years of hope. Pat. They didn't really have that hope before. They had the hope, and then now it's like, oh no, now what? And then Baker's down there in Tampa. Yeah, yeah, slinging it. You notice I have I haven't said same old Browns at all because it's not even fun. I'm just guys feel bad for them. That was a lot of sentiment of the Browns fans. Was last year was was very fun. They were having a fun time Flacco. watching that team. Flacco slinging it all yes. over. Great defense. They they were saying there's none of that this year. There's no fun watching the games. It's miserable. zero fun, sir. They suck. All we look forward to is fucking football season. Yeah. And we don't even have a good time. No. We're losing, but it's not even fun. <laughs> and then we had a guy that was fun, and now he's on the Colts throwing for 300 yards and three touchdowns. Yeah. And our guy, our guy can't even fucking complete it. I mean, it is. It also doesn't help that the guards are in the playoffs. So, like, the they're just, they're just Browns, they're just out the window. Who? Guardians. Guardians. Who? Oh, the baseball team. Mm-hmm. They're very good, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was in time for what was that? <coughs> what was the PLE? Oh, yeah. yeah. Summer, summer was summer. it SummerSlam? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, because that was Hall of Fame week. weekend. Yeah, so I'm up oh, there. Yeah. The Guardians hit a walk off dinger, fireworks, people in the streets. It was electrifying. It's a great setup they have. Yeah, very. Everything's kind of in That's one little area there. there. Yeah. And then you got Cleveland Browns. You know, they just suck. Stink. Or Chubb. Chubb may be coming back soon, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, they're, 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 they're a line is healing up. Yeah, it was like vibes should be high, but then you just got Deshaun, you know, I think scrambling into sacks and moping around. and Yeah, but Jameis is ready.